Welcome to Sports Broadcasting, and tomorrow is the Final Four at 6 o'clock um, on CBS. Texas Tech plays Michigan State, and at 8.49 on CBS, um, following the game in Minneapolis, it's um, Virginia, not, yes, yeah, Virginia and Auburn um, in Minneapolis. So, I'm going to recap what has happened so far in the NCAA tournament with the top four performances um, for a single player in a single game. I'll start with number four, P.J. Washington, uh, forward for Kentucky. Um, his Elite Eight game against Auburn, his team fell short in overtime, 77-71 to Auburn, who advanced to the Final Four. But he finished with 28 points and 13 rebounds and hit back-to-back-to-back -back -back clutch buckets to force overtime, as well as two free throws that were key in the game. Um, he was very clutch in that game, but unfortunately he couldn't rally his team to win. Third is Carson Edwards. Um, guard for Purdue against Villanova in the second round. His team destroyed Villanova. Um, they outscored them 20, 43 to 24 in the first half, and he dropped 42. He was unstoppable um, in his drives, and he was shot lights out from three. So he comes in at number three. At number two, John Morant for Murray State, the guard. He was the first player in NCAA tournament for in NCAA tournament history since. Draymond Green posted a triple-double in 2013 to have a triple-double in the tournament. It was the first round game against Marquette, the 5 versus 12 matchup. His team won 83-64 over Marquette, and before that, the only other player to do it was Draymond Green and Dwayne Wade. The best performance so far in the NCAA tournament, in my opinion, was Carson Edwards. He comes in on the list again. Another 42-point um, production as his team lost in overtime to Virginia. If it weren't for a very lucky bounce and a very lucky pass and shot, that really, it was just amazing in what Virginia did there to force overtime. But if it weren't for that, Purdue would be at the Final Four right now. He dropped 42 points um, in a loss in overtime, 80-75 to 75, to the Cavaliers, who are now in the Final Four. Um, Purdue did a smart play with 5.9 seconds left. They were up by three. They fouled Virginia. Um, they made their first free throw, and then purposely, actually, we don't know. He might have in intentionally missed it, um, but he missed it, and it hit the back of the rim. It was tipped to the backcourt. It was about two seconds left. There was a zip pass right to um, the forward for Virginia, and he hit a buzzer beater for so OT, and they won it there. The top four games in the NCAA tournament. The first weekend was kind of chalky. There weren't really many upsets or buzzer beaters, but the second weekend really proved well. Um, the first or the fourth best game was Michigan State Duke, um, the Elite Eight matchup. Winner went to the Final Four. It was a very close game. R.J. Barrett down by two with about three seconds left, missed both free throws or missed the first free throw, accidentally made the second free throw, and Michigan State dribbled the clock out to win the game 67-66 and go to the Final Four. In that game, Duke had a season-high 17 turnovers. Zion Williamson had a double-double, 24 points, 12 rebounds. And Cassius Winston, the Big Ten Player of the Year for Michigan State, dropped 20 points and 10 assists. Number three, Sweet 16 battle between Purdue and Tennessee. It was another overtime game in which Purdue won 99-94. Ryan, Cl or, yeah, Ryan Klein for Purdue had 27 points. He went unconscious for three late in the game in an overtime to help Purdue win. And also in that game, Admiral Schofield led Tennessee in scoring with 21 points and nine rebounds, even though he was scoreless in the first half. The second best game of the NCAA tournament so far would be Duke and UCF. The unexpected thriller that we had there in the second round, um, Duke Barely scratched out a victory. They won by one against Coach K's former assistant coach, um, Dawkins, who has his son on the team, Aubrey Dawkins, who dropped 32 on his father's former team. And Taco Fall, the 7 6 player from Somalia um, for UCF. Um, he, got, he fouled out with about five seconds left in what was a controversial and one call for Zion Williamson. He missed a free throw, um, but they were still up by one at that point, and with about one second left as the time expired, um, UCF threw up a shot and it rolled around the rim and out, and they lost that game 77-76.
the best game of the tournament so far, I would say, would be in the Elite Eight between Purdue and Virginia. Um, I mentioned it earlier. Carson Edwards had 42 points, and Purdue lost in overtime. It was a great game. 49% um, from the field Purdue was, and Virginia was an average 40%. Um, but Purdue had another outstanding performance from Ryan Klein, who dropped 27 in the previous win against Tennessee, but he was lower than that. He, he dropped about 15 points in their loss there. But thank you for watching this video. Um, my brother will do a video um, on Final Four predictions, and thank you for watching.